third place at Poznan World Cup, so it's all to play for. It's just um, this event has a couple of up and coming athletes. So the final begins of the KL1 men's 200 meters. A blistering start, leaping out of the blocks there. Alex Santos from Portugal. He's got a classic Portuguese fast stroke rate. There he is in picture with the backwards black cap. But watch for lane four. We can see him just at the front of your screen there. Robert Suba looking really, really strong. That's lane six. That is Robert Suba. I should say it's Peter Kiss looking really strong. His compatriot. And he's about 70 meters to go, Peter Kiss, but he's looking strong. He is looking really strong. He's got a very low rate in comparison to the rest of his um, compatriots, but he's got an excellent reach. And you see that vertical blade where he's really dropping every weight onto the stroke that he can. It's he going to be hard for with the Brazilian coming back at him, but he is going to hold it on for a half a boat length victory. Oh, and that's a world championship goal back over to him. Yeah, fantastic result for Peter Kiss. You know, he will be delighted with that. Tokyo Paralympic champion, world champion last year. Did it all last year, didn't he? Just maybe put under pressure in Poznan, picked up the bronze medal, but maybe just keeping his eye on this, the big event of the year, the world championships. And uh, as you said, Hannah, that low stroke rate, but really getting a good grip of the water. Look at the start here. Decent start from him, but it seemed to be the best start was from lane seven. Yeah, lane seven shot out the blocks, very fast starting. And I think if you see he can endure a little bit more, he'd be up there in the medals. But Richard Suba there, very, very strong as he's coming through into the Red Boys. And Remy Bull, don't discount him. Very, very strong athlete from France over in uh, the right-hand side to Peter. Yeah, lane three, Remy Bull coming through nicely for that third place. I think it was just a, a, a tall order for him to try and get on terms with Peter Kiss. Um, but a good result for the French, a good bronze medal, solid bronze medal for him. But Peter Kiss, good half a boat length over the rest of the field. And I say a good half a boat length, but in actual fact, you know, half a boat length is a fairly small margin. Uh, we've seen much bigger than that previously, haven't we? Yeah, I was going to say, I think the Brazilian athletes made uh, mountains of... Uh improvements over the winter and to be that close to Peter I think he's going to be um, looking back at the drawing board over this winter for sure. He is indeed and Peter Kiss um, looking big looking strong there looking dominant he'll be down hopefully we'll see him on the pontoon with Ross 